YouTube, what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn Digger. Hold on. My phone looking foggy. I'm back in the car, man. I'm still, I'm still out here running errands, you know, doing stuff. And, uh, you know, since today is hopefully the end of all beef, you know, I posted a video earlier today, you know, um, saluting Hassan Campbell for being a man of his word and ending the beef with him and Kwame. And hopefully... The beef is done. Hopefully, bro. Honestly, I, I really hope the skinny and Kwame beef is over and everybody can just go back to, you know, it's, it's just honestly just getting way out of hand. And this video is not even about anybody, right? It's not about Kwame. It's not about Hassan Campbell. It's not about uh, skinny. This is about just YouTube beef. Let's be honest with each other, right? Let's all be honest in the comments. And I'm going to be 100% honest in this video. Let's talk about YouTube beef. Let's be honest about YouTube beef. We love it! Hey! I'm going to be 100% honest. There's nothing <laughs> more entertaining more funny more just you are sucked into drama that's why drama sells that's why when you see rappers beef people don't really care about the music they just care about what they're saying and if they listen to the music they listen to what he's going to say towards the other person it's it's sad to say but drama is entertaining we are all drawn by it. People roasting this person. People talking about this person. People exposing this. People exposing that. We all love it. And you are a damn lie. If you leave a comment and be like, D, I don't like drama. That's anybody who clicked this video likes drama. Anybody that has watched any type of beef altercation on YouTube, you like drama. You are entertained by drama. Let's all be honest. I like beef on YouTube sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. It's entertaining. People get to roasting. People get to joking. The shit is entertaining. It is. That's just nature to life. When there's an accident on the highway, what do people do? Ooh. Who got into an accident? When there's an argument between two people somewhere out in public, people looking. YouTube beef is fun. YouTube beef is entertaining. YouTube beef is necessary sometimes. Honestly, YouTube beef is necessary sometimes. Because then you can... You know who's really with you and who's really against you. Right? You know YouTube beef is necessary because you can see someone's true intentions. You can see someone's true character. Beef can reveal who they truly are because when you beefing oh you gonna you know you gonna either you gonna keep it jokes and you gonna keep it between you and that person or you're gonna you know involve other people and to me personally when you involve other people when you involve other people, especially people of family, you're weak to me. If you cannot keep the beef between you and the other person, you're weak. You are defeated. You have nothing else to talk about. And now you just reaching. You're reaching for the stars. Beef, YouTube beef is cool. As long as you can keep it on YouTube. 
Nobody talking about killing nobody. Nobody talking about, you know, hey, nothing wrong with the. Come on, man. Hey, I'm going to be 100% honest with you, right? As long as nobody goes to jail, as long as nobody dies, you know, as long as nobody gets sued or, you know, as long as nobody's family gets disrespected, you start talking about people's deceased parents, then you bring their child. Like, all that extra sh stuff is is lame. But, you know, if you want to wrestle, you know, if it comes down to, you know, like a little altercation, meaning like, you know, hands, eh, ain't nothing wrong with fighting sometimes. I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to be honest. Sometimes men need a fight. Sometimes men just need to release that aggression. What not, not even a fight, a boxing match. Let me rephrase what I say. If you and this person, you know what I mean, go back and forth and y'all cross the line and y'all like, bro, what's up, bro? Let's do this the legal way, right? I think people should really start incorporating boxing in these YouTube beefs. I would love to have a boxing match. You know what I mean? Everybody make money. Everybody get views. Everybody will benefit. I can take out my aggression. You can take out your aggression. Nobody dies. Nobody gets shot. It's in a safe environment. You know what I'm saying? Boxing should be the way to go. Do it in a boxing ring. People got gloves on. Hey, let's duke it out. And after today, we go about our business. Boxing should be the only type of, you know, physical altercation. You know, I, I don't want nobody to get jumped. I don't want nobody to die or go to jail or, you know, do all that extra stuff. Nah, man. But, you know, a little... A little boxing match. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But the thing with YouTube beef is some people don't know how to keep it between you and the other person. YouTube beef gets hella corny, extremely lame, and unnecessary. When people are talking about shooting, when people are talking about killing, when people involve family members when people involve wives husband daughters sons kids bringing up people's police records like like all that extra stuff that's the lame part of youtube beef just going back and forth roasting i'm all for that but some people just don't know how to be a man and just keep it between you and the individual. There's nothing wrong with just going back and forth. This is how I feel about you. This is how I feel about you. Man, you ugly. You ugly. You lame. Like, you, you know what I mean? Just But this dead mama stuff, dead daddy, people giving out addresses, people doxing people, giving out addresses and trying to get people fired from jobs. I'm just speaking everybody in general, right? Even if you're good or it's just it just gets too far when people jobs are at risk. People are talking about losing their kids, taking their kids away from away from them. People you know, call them out their names, calling women bees and making fun of people that are handicapped, making Making fun of people that have uh, disease. I, I can't. I can't say all the words because I got this Invisalign in, in my mouth. But making fun of people that have a disability and making fun of people that have lupus. You know, all of that is unnecessary. That that stuff is just lame. It's corny. It's trash. And that's when people need to tune out, right? People need to tune out of the beef when it starts to get too personal and too serious 
People talking about driving 15 hours just to just to do bro, bro chill out bro chill bro people talking about shooting calling people jobs like no nah, no nah, that's and, and i'm not talking about what i'm talking about everybody everybody that's doing the extra stuff i'm not on anybody's side right now i'm just talking about in general anyone that's doing the extra stuff that needs to be eliminated that needs to not be on youtube but the roasting yeah, I, I I like the roasting. You know what I mean? The jokes. Yeah, I like the jokes. You know what I'm saying? I like, hey, I'm not going to lie. I like YouTube beef. It's very entertaining. Anybody that clicked this video, anybody that has watched the back and forth between anybody, you like it too. That's why you're watching. Even if you agree with the person or you disagree, you're entertained by it. If you didn't like it, you wouldn't click that video. So let's all be honest about YouTube beef. We all like it. It's very beneficial. Let's be honest. People donate a lot more when you beef with somebody. Let's be honest. You niggas in the chat. When someone is talking about something positive, when somebody is talking about something righteous, when somebody is talking about something that would change your life, y'all don't donate as much. Y'all don't watch the video as much. When people are actually speaking to make life better, to make the world better, people don't tune in. People don't donate. People don't support as much as when you call this nigga a whole ass nigga. Oh, when you call somebody a B, when you call them a whole ass nigga, when you start talking about this and that, oh, the donations come in. Oh, the subs come in. The views come in. Everything. Everything is going up when you're beefing with somebody. Let's be honest. It's beneficial for both parties. Let's be honest. I'm going to be honest. My views definitely went up when I started going that skinny. Let's be honest. Why? Because you niggas like the beef. And it, like I said, I entered this beef with skinny for personal reasons. You know what I'm saying? I have my, I have valid personal reasons to go at skinny. Some of y'all know, some of y'all may not know. So, you know, this is personal with me. But that's my spiel about YouTube beef. At the end of the day, all you people that's pump faking, that's lying, talking about, oh, I don't like YouTube beef. Yeah, oh, I don't. Then why you watching? Why you watching then? Why you watching this video? Why you watching it? You like it. You like it because it's fun. It's entertaining. It's unexpected. You don't know who going to say what. You like it. I like it too. I'm not going to lie. I like it. But I do not like it when it starts to get serious. You start talking about killing people. People losing jobs. People got to go to court. People wasting money. Kids getting taken away from them, disrespecting people's deceased parents, deceased children, talking about children, talking. That's the that's the shit I don't like. So it is what it is. So hopefully people can keep YouTube beef, YouTube beef. Keep it between you. And the person that you have a conflict with. Stop in, stop evolving. Stop involving other people. Stop talking about people's parents, people's kids, people's girlfriends. Stop. That's corny, bro. Keep it between you and the person. And keep it on YouTube. I like, I like beef. Well, actually, I like chicken. chicken. I like catfish, too.
So can we all be honest about YouTube beef? In conclusion, you like it. And I like it too. Content creators like it too. Because it benefits them. Let's be honest. It's your boy Dan D. POV signing out, man. Peace.